Hello, everybody. The man myth, the legend. It's Tearless Time. You already know what day it is. Tearless Time. This time we have um, Dragon Ball Z. The Dragon Ball Z games, Tearless. How I feel about them. And everything cool, jazzy like that. We got almost all the main, the main console. The main console Dragon Ball games. If I, if I miss anything. Be sure to leave it in the comments and I'll tell you how I feel about it. But we got our tears right here. We got Godlike, of course. We got Great Ball Z. Mm -hmm. We got Krill in it. Yamcha. And never existed. Alright. And you already know the first game they got to go to. Never existed is Bowsy. Bowsy is so garbage that I remember having it. I think it was in like the seventh, the seventh grade. I remember having it as a kid and then playing it was so freaking disappointed. You know, you had Beers on the title, right? I was so hyped because Beers is in the title, right? The freaking God Destruction was in the title, bro. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the, um, look at the freaking, dude, we got Brody on the side. You got God Destruction Beers, bro. You got God Goku, Trunks. Like, look at this, this, um, the cover, cover, bro. The cover. And then once you play the game, it was freaking booty. It was booty. And booty. And I just I just sold it to my friend. He took it, he sold the game stuff for like seven bucks. I was kinda I was kinda mad, but I was like, it's whatever, bro. It's trash game. Never existed. Never existed. Alright. Now the Yamcha tier. Alright, the Yamcha tier. I don't know what game should go on Yamcha tier. But you already know what game. So we started out off with the never existed. All right, now we gotta go straight to Godlike, and you already know Dragon Ball Fires is Godlike. Dragon Ball Fires is Godlike. The first, the first real competitive Dragon Ball game is especially Godlike. One of the best games, one of the best Dragon Ball games ever made. One of the best, honestly, is the best current gen Dragon Ball game, in my opinion. The best current gen. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's better than like every single Dragon Ball game on the current current consoles. But on to the next game. We want to start in order from these games right here. Budokai Two. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with Budokai One. Budokai One is going to Budokai One. Dragon Ball. That's all I'm thinking. Uh, that, um, you know that song? That song with Dragon, Dragon, Rock the Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I will put it right here. But honestly, it's curling it. It's curling it. It's not that bad. It's a, it's a good it's a good base to standard, right? It's a good base. Because the game, honestly, the first Budokai is not that good compared to others. But it's a good, it's a good middle ground. It's a really good middle ground. Probably one of the funnest Dragon Ball series. Oh, I gotta fix my mic. One of the funnest Dragon Ball series ever. It's probably the Budokai series and that standard alone. How this game did its thing, bro. This whole title, bro. We got, I didn't even know who this guy was when I was a kid, bro. Vegeta got Piccolo, bro. I didn't know who this was either, bro. I, I didn't even know that was going on, bro. Honestly, I was a little kid, but listen, man. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1. Honestly, the crew wanted it to you. And then, like, right next to that, I think this is Budokai 2. Budokai 2. Ooh, in my opinion. I gotta put it, I gotta put it on Great Ball Z. I gotta put on Great Ball Z. Cause the amount of creativity, the amount of creativity it had in it was, you know, you got, you got Boo can absorb whatever. He can absorb whatever character, right? He had that, he had Tiencha. I wish they brought Tiencha back, honestly, but he had, the only thing bad part about Budokai 2, they improved on Budokai 1. And the only bad part about Budokai 2 is the fact was the story mode that little um, little board game thing that's about it that's the only bad part i had with it 
and he got Budokai 3. Of course, Budokai 3 is God of Light. Everybody, everybody in the moment knows Budokai 3 is God of Light, bro. If Budokai, if, if Budokai 1 is currently, Budokai 2 is great both. If Budokai 3 is God of Light, bro. It's, it's so God of Light. You got excellent story. You have excellent character roster. And Infinite, I forget, there's no, there's no, it's just, no, there's no Infinite World. If, if Infinite World was on the tier list, he'd be right here. He'd be right here. I'll probably play Infinite World right here. Right next to Budokai 3. The Budokai 3 and Infinite World was really, really good. That's the only games I played on PS2. That's the only games I still play on PS2 now. Is Budokai 3 and Infinite World. Still to this day. Play those games. But on to the next, the next games. I'm gonna go with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And where to put Kakarot? Chrono. Chrono it, cause honestly, mm, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's story is pretty good. I like the graphics and stuff like that. The graphics is always like, totes like, gorgeous, right? But I hate the grinding part of the game. I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of that part of the game. And um, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of part of that game. Not really my my cup of my main cup of tea while playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So yeah, you had yeah yeah the, yeah, the animation the animation stuff was good, but I didn't like the whole. It was like a Xenoverse aspect to it with the um, you know skill system, all that RPG stuff. You know, that's not really my cup of tea. That's why like fighters is like fighters in Budokai Three is always gonna be godlike to me. Where to like freaking Kakarot, bro, or like Xenoverse, bro. I don't really like this type of game. Bro. But since it's Dragon Ball, we got it. It's a it's a real good it's a good game. I don't want that. It, like Chrono, it's like the medium. It's like Chrono, like you know, you kill him. You know, it's a really good game. I don't want like anybody that has a different opinion. You have a different opinion on the game. It has good visuals good story I mean the story is the same story as any freaking Dragon Ball game for real so it's like <laughs> so what's it to compare to now burst limit burst limit burst limit bro oh my god bro it's not it's, it's definitely not got like but oh my god bro. burst limit where should I put it I'm gonna put Krillin it too. I'm gonna put Burst Limit on Krillin it too. I was gonna put him Yamcha tier, but I can't do it. Like you know what? You know what? It's Yamcha tier. Why? Because the one mechanic, the freaking mechanic that stops the fighting, that whole mechanic right there is so terrible to me that it just ruins the whole experience for me. The immersion and all that crap. But I do like how some of the characters, like like Bardock and Radix, have like a little interaction, all that crap. And the, you know, the graphics look nice. Of course, the graphics look nice. It's like it's like the Budokai, the Budokai series on the PS3, and they did it. They didn't do it as well. They kind of did, but they didn't. And also, it only goes to the Cell Saga. It doesn't go to the Boo Saga. At least as I remember, it doesn't go to the Boo Saga at all. And Budokai 3 goes to Omega Saga. So, what, what's this game's excuse, right? Oh, we on PS3? And then we, we can all go, and go to the cells? Nah, forget that, bro. Forget that, bro. I think the last, the last character on that game was freaking Broly. Like, as like, and then like, they did movies and then there's Broly and Bardock and that's it. So, that game is like, yeah, I'm so The burst, the... Raging Blast series. The Raging Blast series. The first game, boom. Second game, boom. There you go. There you go. First game was beautiful, right? Add the little, the little thing with the, the 3D. That was always great to me. It was like it gave me oh, what's saying what's saying? It gave me a taste of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. All that mess on the PS3. This is like my first. Um, I played Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 before I played one. But honestly, two is better than one because it has way more things than one. So that's why I put one godlike. And 
I mean, uh, two two in God Lake and one in uh, Great Ball Z. But one had one had one good thing. I felt like one had. I'll put say this. One had something really good in it that I really liked, but two just improved, improved on the mechanics, improved on the system, and all that mess, and like everything was good. I think I guess when you transform, and the, the way the way things look, cause it was the first, it was like the first 3D Dragon Ball game on PS3. So the way the transformations look good, you know, when you transform, the Super Saiyan looked weird, it looked like a, like a lighter blondish, right? And then like. But it had a it had a good it had a good it had a good way of showing off showing off how was it explain this? It was an overall it was an overall good Dragon Ball game to hold you until the second one came out and the second one just took everything from Rage and Blast one and put it higher with the amount of skills you can switch out. The only bad part about the the um the second one at least to me there was no story mode it was galaxy mode galaxy mode was all right it was kind of like story mode but not really but it was all right it was all right they had so much so much customization raised much too you could play as freaking like if you wanted to like I used to as a kid I I don't know if y'all did this but as a kid I used to make stories up by myself right and put items like like what if Kui was like a part of the Ginyu Force, right? Like, like that type of story type crap, or whatever, right? With, with, with Vegeta joined the Ginyu Force against Gohan, Krillin, and Goku. Like, what if Cell was a good guy, you know? At least while I was a kid, I like to imagine things like that. You know, same in Budokai 3 and Infinite the World and all that, you know, think of like cooler, cooler, this drops down to Earth Revenge, his brother, he starts fighting Vegeta and crap, right? But on to the next game, uh, we should honestly do the, um, you know, the, the most legendary, the most legendary series in the Dragon Ball franchise, bro. The most, the most iconic, the most iconic franchise, bro. The most iconic series, the Dragon Ball Z Butokai Tekaiji series, bro. The game's gonna be godlike, and it's, it's, it's pinnacle. It's pinnacle. It's, it's better, it's better than all of these. It's, it's better, honestly, it's like, it's better than, I put it right next. To it. Yeah, it's like, it's like, fighters, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi three, Budokai three, and then Raging Blast two. But we all, we all know how good, we all know how good freaking um, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi three is, and whatever. My phone ring. We all know how good Dragon Ball Z, Budokai three, Budokai Tenkaichi three is. And it will forever will be one of the best 3D Dragon Ball games in the freaking world, right? Like we all know that it's facts. And then rate Buka Takahichi one. Okay, the the title though, the intro, the intro was sick. But honestly, <laughs> it's called Yamcha tier. The reason why it goes Yamcha tier, cause. I think like it was like a glitch in the game. They couldn't. I don't know. It was so weird because I couldn't save my save data on this game, so it was deleted every time. But the game was like it was all right. It was okay. It's it's still good, but it's okay. It's like it's like it's the first one in the series, right? The first one in the series. It was okay. It was okay. Yamcha tier. Yeah, you get the Yamcha tier treatment. You blow it up. Cyberman blew that shit up. And then freaking Dragon Ball Z Budokai G Oh my god, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai G2 just said, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy on the beat, right? I'm gonna go crazy on the beat. You got chunks on the freaking title, bro. It's like you got Goku and then Super Saiyan Goku and then Super Saiyan 4 Goku, bro. They just went crazy on Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. And then they went even crazy on Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Bro. 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 It's like. It's just like. It's this. This is hot garbage. Compared to this and this. Like, this is like a way bigger step up 
empty this. It's crazy. The way how they this this is poo poo, and then what? Oh, Jesus, and then what? God. That's basically what happened. Ball to the next games. The last three games. The last three games, the J Ultimate Tekaiji, Xenoverse, and Xenoverse 1, Xenoverse 2, and 1. Um, let's do, um, we're going to do this real quick. Um, Ultimate Tekaiji never existed, Xenoverse 2 is killing it, and Xenoverse 1 is Yamcha 2. Why? Same same reason why I put Xenoverse, I made Kakarot on Corona, same reason I would play Xenoverse in Universe 2 growing it. But since the online kind of is dookie and so cheesy and is really like it's hot garbage to me at least. The Xenoverse 2 that it would it would if if the online was better, it'd be up here. But since it's garbage, it's right here. As Xenoverse 2, I mean Xenoverse 1. Xenoverse 1 had the Super Saiyan. The Super Saiyan is the best character in the game. So it was like meta, meta galore. Play Super Saiyan, or you're getting killed no matter what. This game, honestly, this game has to exist. It has to exist. So here it is, even on Yamcha too. And as Universe Two made it like, oh, we, you're better now. So please play, pick us up, pick us up, cause you're better. And, but our online is kind of dookie, and we're a little bit more cheesy. But you know, the meta of Super Saiyan is gone, but it's still kind of there. You know. You can you can be somebody else while spamming, you know. But it's still freaking hot, giggity. You know you killing it. You ain't you ain't that bad, universe. Yeah, you, you ain't that bad. You're in the medium, bro. But now we gotta put these. Now we gotta put these bad boys in order. All right. I already put godlike in order, right? So this is how I feel by godlike in order. And then I gotta put these in order. And all these in order. Oh, these these are in order because forget actually. Boom. This is the worst. Worst of the worst. Best of the best. Okay. Worst. Best. Oh. Uh, whatever. Uh, Xenoverse. Uh, Doom. Yeah, that's fine. Doom. That's fine. For sure, for sure, for sure, Ultimate Tenkaichi over. I say Ultimate Tenkaichi over. I mean, not Ultimate Tenkaichi. Budokai Tenkaichi 2 or Budokai 2 and Raging Blast. For sure. For sure, for sure. But this is looking like the tier list. This is my Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Um, this is my Dragon Ball Z. Fighting games tier list. Oh yeah, Infinite World right here. By the way, Infinite World is right here. Don't forget about it. Infinite World right here. But this is my Dragon Ball Z fighting game tier list. Hope you guys enjoy. I really want to put this tier list out because I was sick. Cause I just got my vaccine, the second dose. I was sick. I was hard sick, bro. And I got. I gotta let y'all know, like, what's up. I at least want to put a video out there. Just to make sure, like, you know, I'm still alive and stuff like that. You know, tier, you know, uh, Team Synergy's always on the way. Team Synergy's always on the way, man. But, um, fight Guilty Gear on the way. I'm probably making their tier list on the fighting games, like, on the current, current consoles. I already have, like, the video already on that, but this is just a quick video. Get out of the way, you know. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.